Hi viewers, in this video we will discuss how to print a decreasing triangle pattern using python coding. Let us consider a decreasing triangle that contains only the stars. Count the number of rows and the number of columns. The given pattern is 5 cross 5. Observe clearly in the first line you have 5 stars. Hence during the first iteration of outer for loop, the inner for loop should be iterated 5 times. In the second line, during the second iteration of outer for loop, the inner for loop should be iterated 4 times. Hence you will get 4 stars. Similarly, during third iteration of outer for loop, the inner for loop should be iterated 3 times. Hence we will get 3 stars in the third line and so on. If you see the last line, during the fifth iteration of outer for loop, the inner for loop should be iterated only for one time. For this, we need to use two for loops, outer for loop with the range 1 to 6, it will iterate for 5 times. Outer for loop decides the number of rows to be printed and inner for loop is having the range A to 6. The inner for loop is made as a function of outer for loop. Based upon the value of outer for loop, the inner for loop will be iterated. The print function with star and end attribute is used as a argument. And empty print function so as to start printing any stars or any characters in the new line after completing the inner for loop. Step by step, we will look how the execution will proceed. During the first iteration of outer for loop, the value of A will be 1. Then the inner for loop will be executed and it will have the range. 1 to 6 and this will iterate for 5 times. During each iteration, 1 star will be printed in the output. Hence, there are 5 stars in the first line. After completing all the inner for loop, the print function will be executed. Then the cursor will move to new line. Now the execution will go to outer for loop. The value of A is incremented by 1. Now the value of A will be 2. During the second iteration of inner for loop, the range of B will be 2 to 6. Now this will print 4 stars in the second line. 1 star during each iteration. Hence there will be 4 iterations. Hence we will get 4 stars in the second line. After completing all the 4 stars, empty print function is executed. The cursor will take the new line. Then the execution will again goes to first line and the value of A will be 3. The range of B will be 3 to 6. Now the inner for loop will iterate for 3 times. During each iteration, 1 star will be printed. At the end of the inner for loop, 3 stars are printed. After completing inner for loop, the print function is executed. Then the cursor will take the new line. Again, the execution will go to first line. The value of A will be 4 now. The range of B will be 4 to 6. Now the inner for loop will iterate for two times. During first iteration, one star is printed. During next iteration, one more star will be printed. Again, empty print function is executed. The cursor will take the new line. The execution will go to first line. Now the value of A will be 5. The range of B will be 5 to 6. Now the inner for loop will iterate only for one time. Hence, one star will be printed in the fifth line. Then empty print function is executed and the cursor will take the new line. This is how we can print a decreasing triangle pattern that contains only stars. Now let us consider one more decreasing triangle that contains the numbers. Here you have 5 rows and 5 columns. If you observe very carefully, the first line is having the number 1 to 5. Hence during the first iteration of outer for loop, the inner for loop should be iterated 5 times. In the second line, during the second iteration of outer for loop, the inner for loop should be iterated 4 times. Hence, we can get the number 2 to 5 in the second line. Similarly, during the third iteration of outer for loop, the inner loop should be iterated 3 times. So, the number 3 to 5 will be printed in the output and so on. Look at the last line. During the fifth iteration of outer for loop, the inner for loop should be iterated one time. Hence in the output only one digit will be printed. For this we require two for loops. Outer for loop with the range 1 to 6 iterates for 5 times and it decides the number of rows to be printed and inner for loop with the range A to 6. The inner for loop is made as a function of outer for loop. 
based upon the value of outer for loop the inner for loop will be iterated the print function with variable b and end attribute is used as a argument the intention of taking b as a variable in the print function is in output i need the number 1 to 5 if you consider a as a variable during inner iteration the value of a will held constant but the value of b will be keep on changing then empty print function so as to print the character in the new line after completing the inner for loop step by step we'll see how the execution will go during the first iteration of outer for loop the value of a will be 1 then the inner for loop will be executed with the range 1 to 6 it will iterate for 5 times during each iteration of inner for loop one number will be printed hence there will be 5 iterations of inner for loop the number 1 to 5 will be printed after completing the iteration of inner for loop the empty print function is executed the cursor will takes the new line now the execution will goes to first line the value of a is incremented by 1 now the value of a is 2 the range of b is 2 to 6 now the inner for loop will iterate only for 4 times during each iteration one digit will be printed and the printing the numbers will start from 2 and ends at 5 after printing four digits in the output the empty print function is executed and the cursor will takes the new line the execution will goes to first line the value of a will be 3 the range of b will be 3 to 6 the inner for loop will iterate for 3 times and printing the number will starts from 3 during first iteration of inner for loop the number 3 will be printed during second iteration of inner for loop the number 4 will be printed during next iteration of inner for loop the number 5 will be printed then empty print function is executed the cursor will takes the new line the execution will goes to first step the value of a is incremented by 1 now the value of a is 4 the range of b is 4 to 6 now the printing of the number will starts from 4 during first iteration of inner for loop the value of b is 4 in the output you are getting the number 4 during the second iteration the value of b will be 5 in the output you are going to get the number 4 and 5 in the fourth line empty print function is executed the cursor will takes the new line again the execution will goes to first line now the value of a will be 5 the range of b is 5 to 6 remember the inner for loop will iterate only for one time and it will print the number 5 after completing inner for loop the empty print function is executed and the cursor will takes the new line hence you are going to get the output as expected let us consider one more decreasing triangle pattern that contains the numbers as shown the number of rows and the number of columns are 5 the first line is having a number 1 repeated 5 times second line is having the number 2 repeated 4 times and so on in the fifth line you have one number that is 5 for this we are using a two for loops in outer for loop with the range 1 to 6 and this will iterate for 5 times and it decides the number of rows inner for loop with the range a to 6 and the inner for loop is made as a function of outer for loop based upon the values of outer for loop the number of iteration of inner for loop will be decided the print function with variable a and end attribute is used intention of taking a as a variable in input function is in output i need five ones in the first line four twos in the second line and so on and the number five in the fifth line if you consider b as a variable during inner iteration the value of b will be changing but the value of a will remains constant empty print function so as to start printing the numbers in the new line after completing the inner for loop step by step we'll look how the execution will proceed during the first iteration the value of a will be 1 and the range of b is 1 to 6 remember with the range 1 to 6 the inner for loop will iterate for 5 times in the print function we have taken the variable as a so during each iteration of inner for loop the number 1 will be printed in the output so totally there are 5 ones in the first line after completing the inner for loop empty print function is executed the cursor will takes the new line 
the execution will goes to first line the value of a will be 2 now and the range of b is 2 to 6 the inner for loop will iterate for 4 times during each iteration the number 2 will be printed hence in the second line you are going to get 4 2 after completing inner for loop print function is executed the cursor will takes a new line execution will goes to first step the value of a is changed to 3 the range of b is 3 to 6 the inner for loop will iterate only for 3 times during each iteration the number 3 will be printed hence you can observe there are 3 3's in the third line next empty print function is executed the cursor will takes the new line the execution will goes to first line the value of a is incremented by 1 now the value of a is 4 the range of b is 4 to 6 now the inner for loop will iterate for two times during each iteration the number four will be printed hence in the fourth line you have only two fours then empty print function cursor will takes a new line again the execution will goes to first line now the value of a will be five the range of b is five to six the inner for loop iterate for only one time hence in the output you can see only one digit that is five is printed in the fifth line now the empty print function will be ex executed and the cursor will takes the new line this is how you can print the decreasing triangle pattern with any character in the pattern